Every single part of your body will tell every single person that's looking at you what you're thinking. And people like me, they can tell you what it is. They can tell you, oh, this means this and this means that. Most people don't know why they feel a little creeped out. If somebody else can subconsciously see that you give all your energy away, can they take advantage of you? This man could tell every single thing just by looking at you for a few seconds who knew all about every single person that he met. He could tell what you were thinking, what your habitual thoughts are, how you feel at any given time, what you used to think. Oh, you used to be like this, but now you're like this. All these things were uncovered just by the muscle systems in your face and your body. We can read the face, the hands, the feet. Every part of your body has a story to tell and every part of your body tells us what you're already thinking. a pattern here let's stand all in a circle so I can see you guys all very clearly can everybody see their feet okay so this is perfectly typical of freedom fighters who want to do something really really powerful for the world except for the gentleman in orange all your feet tell me that you give away more than you keep you give away more energy you give away more love you give away more attention than you do to yourself so to correct that yes Line up your feet under your hips. There you go. You want about one foot in between, like one, the width of one of your feet. It's this way. And straight. Because you're giving away, yeah, you're giving away all your energy. So now I'll tell you what, and I can see this in your knee right there. This is a, well, you're giving out a, a lot of energy to other people, but you're not, not keeping much. But see, look, this knee right here. So you're, you're so habituated. Can I touch you? Can I touch your knee? Okay, so you're so habituated to put, put your foot back the way it was before, like all splayed out. So see his knee, this, this tendon is starting to get short, longer because he's pulling it that way every single day. This tendon is shortened and when he puts his legs back together, I can already see the changes in his knee that this posture is having. If you pull your knees out like that and continually make that one tendon longer and one tendon shorter, that can lead to a knee replacement surgery in the future, right? Because you're displacing your knee every single day, just a tiny little bit. If you're continually pulling any part of your body out of alignment, that, that joint will have some lasting damage. If somebody else can subconsciously see that you give all your energy away, can they take advantage of you? How would you stand if you were completely self-assured, 100%, if you were a princess within your own kingdom? Right, you would not need any, any protection because you own everything. Every single one of you has a very important message to share with the world. There is a time where we stop reading, where we stop absorbing information, where we stop taking stuff in. There's a time where we stand up and we share. The world is ready. So let's clean up those little details so that your message can flow clearly and strongly to the world. You don't have to worry, oh, am I gonna come off weird? Yeah, you probably are. Own it. Own it. I will show you how to own it. If you're talking from the top of the mountain and no one can hear you or no one can understand what you're saying, your words are pointless. Your energy is wasted. Effective self-parenting. If your inner voices, your inner parents tell you that it's dangerous to stand on stage, you're gonna be scared because the voices in your head are telling you a bunch of bullshit. If you're standing there and your inner mom, which is your left-hand side, and your inner dad, which is your right-hand side, are telling you, you're good, you're awesome, look at you, how beautiful you are, stand there, stand there and show them how beautiful you are. You can share your important message. This is the time and this is the place, do it. And then your posture completely changes. All that inner talk is the reason your posture is messed up. When the time comes when we're strong enough to stand on our own two feet and be able to take that over and take the, the governance of this body, the sovereignty of this body back to yourself and then govern it 
justly, how you've always wanted to be parented, how you've always wanted to be governed, self-govern, and then you're going to become stronger and faster and better at everything you do because with strong inner parenting, you can do everything you want. There is no limit. That's what body language and psychosomatic therapy is, you know, those little tendencies in the muscles that give you so much information about the feelings and emotions that the person went to. Every single one of us needs to take responsibility away from our parents and take it upon ourselves to be the best parent that we can possibly be to the little child that lives within us. Because that's the only way we're gonna save the world. That's the only way we're going to create a positive change. We're all weird here, and what you need is that self-parenting that gives you the strength to be the boy that you wanted to grow up to be, right? Because that little boy, the four-year-old inside you, he's still there, and he's still wanting to grow up just as much as he ever did. So allowing him to step into, like, the world is like if your inner child is kindergarten, right? And every day your inner parents need to give him, like, food, exercise, everything that they, the child needs in order to grow up and be better. And that never ends, till you die, that never ends. You're always wanting your child to grow up and be better. So now your child is four, and he wants to maybe do something for the world. And it's time, you can, you can own that space, and you can step into that power and share that thing with the world, as long as your thoughts support your actions. So you can change things on the physical, on the emotional, on the spiritual. You can, it's a full circle, right? And if you change the physical, the thoughts start changing. And if you change the thoughts, the physical start changing. It all feeds back into itself. So just creating a situation where your inner child has a really comfortable childhood right now and can express himself and express his genius the way he deserves to.